call to order this meeting of the Town of Deerfield uh, Select Board Board of Health on May 25th at 2021 at 4 p.m. Meetings normally held at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternate means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with the governor's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 20. Meetings are typically broadcast on Frontier Community Access Television and remote meeting connections are uh, listed below. So if you go on the town website, you'll see these. The dial in number is 312-626-6799. The meeting ID is 911-604-580. The passcode is 57 zero zero one two and you can get the zoom link by going on to the town website all right okay i don't have the agenda in front of me so i do so yeah um i think we were we were calling this um meeting to to deal item one was the mvp green infrastructure rain garden excuse me tree boxes uh, projects, um, fund transfers for completion. It's really the one item we were discussing. I think we were hoping to hear an update. Uh, I know that Casey has been meeting and Chris has been meeting and Kevin's been deep in this too. We just, I guess, wanted to get an update on where we're at, what we should do, get some recommendations and hear from you on where we're at, what we're needed for funds. Okay. So, hold on a second. Okay, just pulling this up so we can talk sure. about it. So essentially, we've had some unanticipated costs related to the tree box installations and Chris is on the line. He's yep. calling me um, because he has a, a scheduling thing. Yep. And this was the only time I could get you all together. Um, essentially, we, Kevin and Chris, well, Kevin and I talked about it, Brenda and I talked about it, Chris and I talked about it. Essentially what we want to notify the board of is because of these cost overruns, we've narrowed down what we can do to complete the grant so that we can obtain the reimbursements that the town has expended um, in anticipation of the MVP grant. Chris, do you want me to just give them a basic, do you want to give them the basic outline Yes, I'd, I'd be happy to, Casey. Thank you. Um, a, a quick overview of kind of how we got here. Um, originally, we hired the firm of EBI about two years ago to uh, complete the designs for six tree box filters in the center of town. <clears throat> the original designs were not very well done. Um, there was a, a poor attention to detail. We had problems with unknown um, utility conduits. We had um, property owners that were upset about the loss of parking spaces. And we came to understand that our principal engineer for the project had worked on the designs while he was battling uh, terminal cancer, and he subsequently passed away um, before the project was finished. We initially made efforts to get EBI to rectify the designs that failed. As you remember, we initiated termination process with them. They pleaded for a second chance to do the designs, which we gave them. We recontracted with them. Um, we have a new engineer, Kevin Sanders, who's been assigned to work on the project. And we um, subsequently moved three of the locations for tree box filters uh, to satisfy the concerns expressed by property owners and the utility um, conflicts that we were experiencing. So now um, the new designs are in and they are hugely improved um, from the original designs. Um, they are much more elaborated. Um, the tree boxes are uh, designed better and they're larger. Um, and I, I absolutely feel that they will be um, an enhancement to the town center, both visually, aesthetically and functionally. 
including um, in one case uh, near Leo's Tavern, creating um, potential space for a little outdoor dining, which um, would be an enhancement. Um, Casey and I uh, have met now with all of the property owners um, for these new locations, and all of them are in support of the locations, and some, I will say, I think are quite enthusiastic about them um, and excited about them. So what we're asking uh, the board to consider is uh, the transfer of an additional amount of funding in, in the amount of $14,233. Um, and this is um, to pay for some additional costs with these new designs, which is largely um, in the category of additional curbing and landscaping stone, um, primarily due to the larger sizes of the islands that are being created for the tree boxes so that they um, are protected and, and they do the job that they, they need to, to do efficiently. Um, so that is kind of a quick synopsis of where we are and, and how we got here. And, I'm um, going go to share the summary. And then um, we're this is just the tree boxes. Were we going to request um, $14,233 from the um, reserve fund? Well, we were. And then uh, Kevin and I remembered that he had some cost overruns for, for Kelleher Drive as well. So it may so, be an additional to that. An additional to that. So when I talked to Brenda about it, um, we suggested, Brenda and I suggested, a $20,000 request from reserve. Because in Brenda and my discussion, we've been watching to see how we can pay for snow and ice. And if we do a transfer between appropriations for snow and ice um, from another one of Kevin's funds, we could do a $20,000 transfer into the projects line in Kevin's expense account to cover these additional costs, assuming finance committee will approve the transfer. And I think considering the, the fact that if we don't finish the project, we lose out on all the reimbursement for the project is, is a fundamental. And we purchased problem. the trees, we purchased the concrete boxes right. already, we've purchased so much of it and we've contracted with the contractor to do all the work. And the um, contractor to his credit has really helped facilitate no. Yeah, I want to say that Noons has definitely stepped up for sure. They definitely have. Um, and Kevin Saunders from EBI has as well. Um, and I think if I think Chris said it before, but my experience with them in various meetings has been that they really have worked hard to bring this to a conclusion that's livable. Okay. It's just the costs. That was the holdout was the cost to figure it out. And so mm -hmm. what Brenda and I did and Hold on a second. Let me. So this, if you look at the summary, this is the tree boxes. Kevin's been working on getting a quote, if necessary, for some work over at Kelleher. But either way, we had cost overruns in Kelleher, particularly mm -hmm. related to details. Um, yep. So that's why Brenda and I were interested in considering doing that, mm -hmm. making the transfer fit more than one. Right. Because it would all come out of anything that we make adjustments for related to these projects would come out of the project line in um, Kevin's budget. Right. There it is. Hold on just a second. Do we feel... Um... <laughs> You know, this project has been a nightmare, really. I mean, it, and, and I'm in peripheral to this. You guys have been working on it a lot longer than me, but I just think um, it, it has been very difficult. And I think my, my concern is like, is this it? Like, huh. we've been going around and around and around, and we haven't quite dug ground yet. Are we, are we sure that this is going to fix everything, and get it, get it done? Honestly? No. I, I'm sure this will work for the, for what's necessary for the tree boxes, right, Chris? I, I, that's the best information that we have at this point, but once they start digging in the ground, um, 
you know, there is the possibility that they find something unexpected again. I hope that doesn't happen. We're not, we're not expecting it to happen, Yeah. but it, it's not possible to know until we actually dig in the ground, I guess. Yeah. So I don't want to say a hundred percent because that wouldn't be fair to you guys to, to say that, but I, no, I, I think we've done the best we can to try to identify all the problem areas. Okay. What do you think, Kevin? Um, I think we've got a pretty good shot. Yeah, I'm sorry. The couple phone calls I was dealing with was was actually Armand from Noons because I wanted to make sure that, that my we were all on the same page. Okay. Um, okay. So, and I'm sorry. Got I just got to recap a little bit here. So I was looking at that originally summary that that they came out with. So basically, we're looking at fourteen thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars and ninety five cents. Yeah. For a transfer over. So so the extra because like Chris said, there was a lot of uh, curb and patch credits mm -hmm. that were that were given back um and but then there was so there was the credits came in but then you got additionals that came in for the redesign because you know we originally went from 126 linear feet of straight to 280 yeah um so there's a lot of things that that did change but again i'm, I'm talking with noons and he's extremely transparent when it comes to everything of what it was that he originally Yep. Um, bid on compared to what has to happen. I think we're going to be in pretty good shape with this. Um, the only one that's going to be a problem is, is the alternative location to go over to the Polish club. If that happens, that's another seven grand and it's not going to be able to go in the, it has to go in the road. It's going to take away a parking space and you're going to have a lot of problems. Um, because I guess but that's uh, only that's only if we have to move one of them. Correct? That's correct. Yeah. So because that is an alternate. Um, yeah. You know, and then, you know, and, and we won't even bring up because we're not even talking right now. We're not even talking about the 20 grand for the school. Right. No, we're okay. not talking about that. Okay. We're not right, cool. talking about that. We're just talking about finishing the tree boxes we've identified. Okay. So again, talking with noons, I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to get it done by the 15th. It, it, I told, uh, I told Armand, weeks. I told Armand that uh, we technically have until June 30th. I had hoped not to have to use that last two weeks because I was holding that as a, as a sort of a safety cushion for us, but it appears that we'll need that cushion. So yes, we, we technically definitely. have until June 30th to finish. Okay. Then the that's going to give us a little bit of breathing room because if, because they basically said that, you know, if, if, it had to be done by the 15th. They were going to have to drop everything that they've got, bring in every person they have and all of their equipment to, to get this done by the 15th. And they said, be honest with you, we're not going to do that. Right. And, and, and I don't blame them, you know, unless, of course, I, me being I don't in the either. private sector, they, they, they it would just cost too much money. Yeah. Um, so so at least with, with that, that gives them a little bit of breathing room. Um, and again, the, the transfer, I'm not sure exactly what the transfer was going to be. Um, you know, I know I've got monies that, that we've got already into um, Gallagher, you know, because we, we spent a total of uh, just over 27 grand to move the 24 grand from Kelleher over to the tree boxes. Right. But we still have roughly 15,000 in retainage to finish Kelleher. And this guy has not responded to my emails as to you were right. here on Tuesday. We haven't seen you since. Right. Um, you're not done yet. These are the pictures. This is what you still need to do. What's going on. There's still Thank bags you. in the, in the brook. There's still um, yep. other still. things that need to be taken care of. You know, the Jersey bear is going to come out. You know, I got to put the guardrails in. Once that happens, more landscaping is going to have to go back in. And, and, and that's going to be, I'm going to end up eating that. You know, so, so there's probably another at least four or five grand. Um, so what we did, Kevin, was we put together a transfer for twenty thousand. Yep. Is that going to be enough, or do we need to go higher? Brenda and I talked about it. Well, we if you do that, that that'll, that'll basically give me like five grand that I can utilize. I mean, because right now I've I've already for time and material, just to get the road prepped for paving was was fifteen hundred bucks. You Plus know, and then. Details. But, well, yeah, plus details. Sorry, yeah, that that yeah. wasn't including all the details. Okay. Um, you know, plus then then we ended up having to put in the signs, you know, because the sign the signs disappeared, you know, that were there when they started the job, 
but now I ended up having new poles, new signs, um, you know, and all those come to a cost, you know, because everything does cost things, which is great. I'm glad we're tracking all this because now we've got a positive of exactly where our money's going. Um, so do you want to? I, I think I think the twenty might be cutting it close, but again, you know, mm -hmm. I mean. Well, we can increase it. What do you want to increase it to? I'll just tell Brenda. If, 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 if you went up to 25, that would make me feel a lot more thinking, comfortable than that yeah. way I can get a little bit back because yep. I, I'm already, my, my budget is well blown long ago um, that I'm stealing from Peter to pay Paul to get me through the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to text Brenda right now and ask her to change the... Um, if she can, but you know, if, if, if it's going to be a holdup or something, we'll go no. with the 20 grand and, and, and I'll make it work somehow, some form or fashion. Well, we can ask. The worst the finance committee can say is no. Yeah. Um, exactly. The yeah. reason we were trying to, I mean, we tried to get together last week and weren't able to do it. So I posted for an emergency meeting, utilizing the general law and code of Massachusetts regulation references for emergency meetings so that we could discuss this. I wanted the board to hear from Chris and from you about sort of why we need to make this transfer happen. And, you know, if we agree upon $25,000 and that's what we put forward and see what they say. Um, I'd feel safer then, with that. I, I think it'll give us a little more room if there's a problem, but right, I also- well, cutting we the boxes, yeah, that, 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 that 25 grand we're going to need because I forgot about, because we have to cut that that concrete right. tree box to get it to fit. Exactly. That's yeah, take yeah. Time no, 25 is, is definitely going to be a number. Yep. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. That's no, fine. That's okay. um, so if we're agreed on 20, 25, Kevin, I will ask Brenda to put that together and send it to me can you sign it electronically or sign it at the office? I don't know where you are right now. I can sign electronically. All right. So if, so if you send me a DocuSign, I can definitely do a DocuSign. Okay. Um, if I I'll need, to roll, in, if I, if I need to roll back in and sign something physically, I can do that too. So whatever, whatever you need me to do. Okay. Um, all right. I just wanted everybody to be on the same page and I wanted you to have a chance to tell the board what else was sort of out there. So if we modify the words a few, a little bit, I'm going to get on the phone with her as soon as we're done. If we modify the words a little bit, it'll essentially be the same one. So it's $25,000 to be transferred into general highway projects. The present balance is 54, four 36, but we know that's going to be um, expended relatively quickly. Correct. Okay. Okay. So this is our best guess, 25,000. All right. So I will fix that for Kevin. And now that everybody's on the same page, don't forget we have a meeting in about 40 right. minutes, um, finance committee to finish up the budget. And there's an item unanticipated on the agenda. I'll go back into my files and pull that out again and send it to you guys. And if anybody, I think Trevor found his, but the budgets are the packets themselves. Whatever was reprinted is in the boxes. So, all right. So I'm gonna get on the phone with, thank you everybody for meeting. I appreciate it. I wanted all us right. to have this now, we have to take conversation a together. It? No. Wants to take a vote. You don't want us to take a vote. I think it's it's actually Kevin's budget. I wanted you to yeah. be very much aware of the situation. Okay. So, yeah, it's Kevin's budget, and she, he and Brenda and I have sort of worked. We worked to get to a point where we had numbers in front of us. That was part of the holdup last week. Casey, so. did you know the governor today um, expanded the um, open meeting law um, till September first? You know, so that oh, can, did he do another or I haven't even gotten there yet. I was deep so into we, we could continue to do zoom until September 1st. And, um, you know, and we can do outdoors, you know, the zoning for outdoor dining and all that is extended as well. Okay, I'll read it. Probably on Thursday, because <laughs> we still have the information session to get to tomorrow. And Lisa and I've been working on refining 
one of the Warren articles, and I've been working on the. Um, did you get it? Do you get? Did you get it out on social media? I'm sorry, I just left you a message. Get what the about the newspaper putting it in for tonight? We fixed. We called them this morning when we read it. God, they did it twice. I know, twice in a row. But I had sent. <laughs> I sent it out yesterday on social media. Maybe, maybe Trevor can send it out. What's that? What are we for the informational oh, session? So I the, made I put a post. Recorder, the recorder put in the newspaper a big article about our information meeting tonight. Oh really? It's here originally. It's tomorrow night by Zoom. <laughs> so All I put right. a social media post out while Pat was working with the recorder to do a retraction, which they then got wrong. Um, so somewhere on our town of Deerfield Facebook, you'll see I put a note out. Um, I forgot to ask you yesterday if you would put it on Deerfield now too. So. Sure. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna have to Trevor because my wife read it to me last night and there was so many people that are so confused. They're like, oh, well, the thing in the center of town says, and it's like, no, no, listen, listen, that pre and a few people have tried to explain it to them and right over their head um yeah. so if you go ahead and you put it back out again as a fresh instead of a thread that people are just jumping on and just babbling um, right. i think you'd be much better off okay and my post was i thought my post was reasonably clear <laughs> oh yours was but on deerfield now they were like i said last night they were going back and forth they were they were all confused uh, just because unreal unreal but anyway yeah all right, all right. cool so well, well thank you very much i just want to make sure everybody was all on the same page i wanted to make sure that everybody was well aware of what was going on where we're at with money why what what the problems are what the problems have been which direction we're going in on um, you know um in some aspects it's good for me that we didn't get any of the mvp four or five or whichever it is for this point in time for anything it's got to do with tree boxes or anything that would affect um, DPW. Uh, it just, we, we just, you know, we had a long conversation last meeting we had an hour ago um, stating that, you know, we just need to wrap our head back around this better and we need to come up with, with this better all at once. Th these, it was great that all of this money was coming in. Um, but when I started seeing money coming out of the town's coffers, to be able to finish this off, um, that's when I put my hand up and said, we, we need to do something with this. We need to get this thing under control because at one point we had no idea what we're gonna spend for money. We had an idea, I shouldn't say that, but um, now we've got a better handle. We know exactly what's going on. But again, going in the future, you know, like we said in the last meeting, you know, you can't put anything more on me or Casey or Jen when it comes to watching and, and looking at these grants and stuff. I mean, it, that, that it, it's tough. You really can't expect a volunteer to do that because it is so much work. But the other side of the coin is, is bring somebody in to pay somebody. Now you're just increasing everything all over again. So are you saving any money in the long run? You know, or, you know, it, that's completely up to the town on how they want to look at it. You know, I, I just try and look at the most fisc fiscally responsible things to do because I feel that that is what I'm hired to do. I am look, I'm hired to look at the numbers and make sure what I'm responsible for is done right. So. Kevin, a, a lot of the problems were that we've had awful engineering. The engineering was difficult, you know, the, the, the. And the contracting. The contractor, the contractor was, was on, on Keller very Rock. difficult, you know, and again, we're still going back and forth with him because, you know, again, you know, I can almost guarantee you that he's going to say, I'm not coming back again because he did make that mention once during that meeting that we had Tuesday last so week. Can we, can we penalize him? Is it too late to penalize him? Well, we still hold like 15 grand. Well, we certainly are not gonna pay another dime. But the problem is, is how does that work? Because that's grant money, you know, how does that come about? You know, can we hold it back because the town has spent the money to do it? You know, I'm not sure how that works with the grant, you know, and again, that's, that's well above beyond what I'm responsible for. Um, but again, that's the tough part is, is these are all questions that we have that inadvertently we probably don't have, we, we don't have the answer to the questions. Um, cause I think we were just trying to move too fast. You know, we saw that we saw the, we saw the good free money, which is great, but we didn't look at all the controls that goes along with it. Probably the easiest way of saying it. Wow. 
We didn't have Kevin, I think I think I can get you an answer to your question about the, the fifteen thousand um, dollars. But I suspect that as long as that money is expended on construction costs, whether it goes to the contractor or to materials that the town is paying mm -hmm. for, uh, those would both be eligible. That would be my initial take on it. Perfect. So let me verify that for you. That'd be great. Thank you, Chris. Can I, um, I know this is unanticipated, but if, are we done with everything first? I just want to bring up one other subject. Um, I don't want to jump in if everyone else. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sign I'm, off if that's okay with you. Okay. Paul. Yep. Thank you, Chris. Thank Thanks, you all. Chris. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, sorry. Hey, can I do just one last thing? Of course. Um, I, I was looking at Noons's uh, proposed change order number two, where we're looking at twenty thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars and ten cents to fix the rain garden that's between the horseshoe mm -hmm. at the what do you call it yeah i'm um, talking back and forth with with armon and i'm not trying to kill the design here but if i kill the design so it work properly i can shave sixteen thousand three hundred dollars off so instead of spending twenty thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars and ten cents we can spend four thousand four hundred and thirty dollars and ten cents well still have a functioning and, and basically all it's doing it's pulling out the granite which is inadvertently going to be in my way anyway the granite um stone granite curbing yeah the granite curbing oh. that they were going to put in in that, but, that in between place not the one out in the parking lot the one between one the road there. right between the road because all that water kind of runs off that road down into the which we kind of want right yeah the, yeah this is the one that, that's in between the design yeah I haven't seen um, the new design, so I just um, I'd like to see that. But I I see what you're saying. So instead of putting curbing all the way down, and that's on the road nearest where they the drop school, off, where, where they drop the, off, right? The road nearest the school. Thing. Yep. Which would be Is like it, by the uh, uh, by the gymnasium. That's yes, side. exactly. Yeah. You know, because they're looking at adding 175 linear feet of, of granite curbing. Right. But we don't need granite curbing there. Right. You know, we, we can save the granite curbing right there. Is, that's eleven thousand two hundred dollars. Right. You know, again, I'm not trying to kill the project, but I'm trying to make this more fiscally responsible for us. Right. You know, we can we can still get it done. We can still have it look nice, but we don't have to go to the gold level. You know, Were we, we going to clean flat. up that 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 road at all? I'm, well, I'm just forget it. That's another subject. Right. That, that whole parking lot is a mess in there, too. It needs to be redone. Oh, um, you know, it's just and then that road, I think what they were thinking is the curbing that the road was kind of breaking apart along there. Um, maybe they were thinking of re beefing. Oh, that maybe, up maybe. So I, I could know. be wrong. But e either so, way, um, you could do it with asphalt, too. It doesn't have to be granite. Sure. Yeah. Um, OK, but that, that's all I had. Thank you. All right. Sorry. Uh, good to think okay. about. Kevin, I'm going to try to send you this. try to send you this to sign. It's being difficult right now. So what was the other thing you wanted to talk about, Trevor? So I wanted to talk about the um, the old Deerfield sewer system piping project that we uh, are gonna undertake. Well, can we add it to another agenda? The reason I'm we saying- can, but I need a signature pretty quick. I need to get moving on this fast. So um, I, so I'm not asking for a vote, but I want to I want to at least bring it up so everybody is aware what we're doing, and then you can get it on the seconds agenda, I guess, or whatever meetings coming up. Orings um, are happening Friday. Right. I mean, we're rocking and rolling on this. We got to get this project done. So just real quickly, um, we've done camera work in all of Old Deerfield to look at our pipes, and this is more for the general public. A lot of you know this already. Um, we're still waiting to finish up. I think they, last week they finished up South Deerfield. They did the large, the large intersection and, and the big pipe down to the plant. Um, they finally got the new camera. So all that we should have numbers on South Deerfield fairly soon. Old Deerfield we've had for a little while. And in Old Deerfield, there was a pipe leading from about the middle of Albany Road, maybe a little south of that or a little west of that, uh, down by the, by the athletic fields and out to the plant is in horrible shape. And Normally, when we take on a project, it takes some time to do, and it really doesn't matter the schedule because it all kind of follows the fiscal calendar and budgeting. 
uh, Deerfield Academy has been involved with us on, on a lot of these projects and um, they, they approached their trustees and had, had asked for um, an appropriation of funds to gift to the town if we could tackle uh, the replacement of the project, the replacement of most of the pipe that really affects their operations as a school. And if we could do it this summer and get it done while the kids are gone because they're revamping from COVID to a normal year next year or somewhat normal year, they're not doing any summer programs. So there won't be a lot of kids there. And they could, this is the one summer that if we got a hold of this section of pipe from Albany Road down past their athletic fields, um, they would pay for. And so uh, it's a considerable amount of money and um, been working with DPC, our engineer, to come up with a an expedited bid process and, and just to kind of get this thing on the book so that we can get a contractor in there, the boring's going right away and all of that happening. I just wanted to, you know, I've got an estimate from um, DPC that we need to, we need to look over, I'll, I know Casey has, but we could send out to all the members and we could look at that stuff to get rolling on the contract with um, DPC so that the bids can go out and we can get that going and then Brenda is going to set up a, a, a gift account in our general fund to accept money um, from from um, uh, Deerfield Academy, a nonprofit, to pay pay for this project. So I just wanted to kind of get everybody up to speed. I've mentioned it at a couple other meetings, but just you know, now that we have the estimate and the the stuff um, from May 12th from DPC all laid out, I just wanted to get it on people's radar and we could bring it up at another meeting to vote and sign it. Um, but I just wanted to kind of Keep the I, I think it's emergency. It's an emergency fix. And we have the funding. Yes, we will we have the funding. Discuss it in a regular meeting. Right. I was not on this. Meeting. It was not on this meeting. I know. And just we put it on the it second on June second. Yep. However, I would say that we can we can still go ahead because there's consensus to go ahead. We have to rediscuss it and we have to vote it. But mm -hmm. if Dave and I and Trevor agree on it, then it's enough to move forward for DP, you know, for Dave Prickett. Go ahead, Kevin. I just, just let you know, I saw, I saw the video of the pipes when yep. they were doing it. I, I would, I would highly doubt you'll get another winter out of those pipes. I know. No. You will have a collapse. This is the same pipes that we did. We had that um, grant. We had 700 and Oh, yeah. Two thousand dollar uh, grant replacement for that. This pipe. This is and had to give it all back. Pipe. And we yeah. had to give it back because we didn't have a hazardous mitigation plan approved. Yep. And and that was what four years or five years ago. Five years so, ago. Before my time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at least. Yeah. So, uh, you know, listen. That pipe. I, I'm so shocked that it hasn't let go already. And <clears throat> yeah, and there'll still be more for us to do as a town further down to the plant. And of course we have Pine Nook Road and some other sections, but really their gift was to say, hey, we'll give you the money if you can get it done this summer while no one's here and it won't affect you know, their operations. And we said, thank you, we'd love that. So I just wanted to kind of bring everybody up to speed, but we'll you know, just get it on the next meeting agenda. We'll talk about it again and take a vote and move forward. That'd be great. Okay. Thank you. That's all I have. All right. Um, so we have, have a meeting at five, is that right? Yeah, you still have a meeting at five and I need to get this out to Kevin, so. Okay. Have... Okay, so, thank motion you. Motion to everybody. adjourn. Uh, no, we want oh. to continue and re reassemble at five. Oh, really okay. You have a meeting scheduled for five too. You have a meeting posted for five. So we can't adjourn? You can adjourn this meeting, yes. Okay. Well, I was Most just hoping good. I didn't have to read everything again. <laughs> good luck. I'll read it for you, Dave, if you want. You, you did such a good job. <laughs> I can do it in my sleep. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. You did a good job, David. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Yes. Second. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Carolyn Ness, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Dave Wolfram, aye. Thank you. See you all in 